Hello everybody, I'm Katie, welcome to the Book Buddies, and today's video is pre-recorded. <laughs> I'm pre-recording a couple videos um, a couple weeks early, or about a week early, not even a week early. I don't know, my nose is itchy. Anyway, um, <laughs> because I have a whole lot of videos that I want to do for the end of the year, and I figured it would be easier to pre-record a few, and so this first pre-recording is going to be the... Grinch book tag, which was originally created by Thoughts on Tomes. I don't know why that's there. And so I will be doing this tag. And the first question is, half of the lights on the Christmas tree are burnt out. Name a book, series, or character that started out good but went downhill. Dragons in Our Midst by Brian Davis. The first book is Raising Dragons, and the second book is The Candlestone, and those two were really, really good. But the third book, which is Circles of Seven, yes, Circles of Seven, didn't really go with the other two. I mean, it did. I mean, there's a string that's combining them all, but it was like, these ended a story. This one ended a story, and the second one ended a story, but they both kind of went together, and then the third one started a new story that didn't really go with the other two at all. <laughs> but there's still that string that's like combining them, and then I haven't read the fourth one yet. It's over here because I do, I have started it before, but you know, I haven't finished it. So this was the book series that was really good and just kind of went as it went. Question two. Annoying Great Aunt Sally who will not leave you alone. Name a book that you didn't enjoy but everybody seems to love so it never goes away. nothing to say. I really hated those books and they are everywhere. Everywhere. Question three. Your pets keep knocking over the Christmas decorations. There's a simple fix to that. Put your animals outside. Name a character that kept messing things up for everyone else and you can't pick a villain. I'm picking both Anana and Naji from The Assassin's Curse by Cassandra Rose Clark. At the making of this video, I haven't read the second one, so I can't say for sure in the second one, but in this one especially, they just kept ruining things for each other. Like, every time Anana had a plan going that she knew would work, or that would probably work, Naji would ruin it, and if Naji had it the way he needed it to be to be able to do this other thing, like, to do whatever it was that he needed to do, and it would help them with something, I don't know. Anana would ruin it. And oh my gosh, my, why is my sister and her friend laughing so loudly? Ah. Anyway, so yes, I picked them both because they just kept ruining everything for each other. And it was just a constant battle through this book. Which, in a way, was kind of annoying. But at the same time, I, enjoyed, I, I liked it because it kept the story going. But it kind of got annoying toward the end. <laughs> just saying. Question three, no, four. <laughs> you hear your parents putting out the presents and learn Santa isn't real. Insert reaction to Santa not being real. Name a book you were spoiled for. Pretty sure everybody can say this, but Allegiant um, by Veronica Roth, the third book in the Div Bleh, Divergent trilogy. And in case the one human being on Earth that hasn't been spoiled for this book is watching it, I will not tell you what happens. Um, but yes, this was a spoiler for me, and although I didn't hate this book, it made me really not want to read the other two. Like, I had no motivation to read the other two. And then besides that, I was spoiled a lot for stuff in House of Hades, not the ending of House of Hades, which is the fourth book in the um, Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. Uh, I don't know the ending of it. I haven't read it yet, but I've been spoiled for a lot of things that were inside the book that I think were supposed to be fairly you know, big revelations that I already know about. And yeah. Curse you, internet. Question 
5. It's freezing outside. Name a char main character you just couldn't connect with. <sighs> I have several for this one. Or three. Three. I have three. But two of them are going to end up being really repetitive if I pull them up again. So, pull them up. So, I'm going to go with this one. It's over here. <laughs> Tiger's Curse. Kelsey, who is the main character in this series, she's the exact opposite personality that I am, so it's kind of inevitable that we wouldn't, that I wouldn't connect with her very well because, you know, we're complete polar opposites. <laughs> I still enjoy the book and the series, and I would put it up there, but, you know, I can't get it up there in one hand, and I'm going to have to take it out anyway because my sister's reading it, so, you know, there's that. And, yes, so anyway, I don't know why I said that, but Kelsey from here, what's her name? Kelsey something. I don't remember her last name. Hayes. Kelsey Hayes. <sighs> Six. Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You is giving you anti-romantic feelings. I don't know why I sang that. Name a couple you couldn't stand. I'm going to... Kaylin's gonna kill me, but Fortress. I don't get it. I just, I don't get it. I didn't like it. I didn't think it made any sense. <laughs> like, they never talked to each other really. Like, I mean, they did here and there every once in a while. And it was just like, they were just suddenly in love with each other and I didn't understand why or how. For that matter, I didn't know why she liked him, really, except for maybe that he was cute. I mean, I personally am not that big a fan of Four. I think he's kind of boring. Don't kill me. <laughs> but, like, I just, I don't, I didn't get it. I didn't like it. That was another one of the other reasons that I didn't want to continue on with the series. <laughs> it's because I just didn't like that relationship. In my opinion, I feel like romance a lot of times kind of ruins the adventure for me. And this was definitely one where the romance kind of ruined the adventure, so... Yeah. Question 7. That... That scratchy homemade wool sweater you got for Christmas years ago but won't get rid of. Show some books that you... That have been sitting on your shelves for a while and you haven't... Aren't motivated to read but you won't get rid of. <sighs> I have three for this. The first one is I Promise You the Moon by Rhonda Russell, and the only reason, the only reason that I will not get rid of this book is because it's signed, but other than that, I'm never going to read it, and I don't really want to. It's a romance, straight up romance, and like I said like two minutes ago, I don't like romance all that much. I think it kind of ruins the story, so yeah. The second one I have is... The City of the Dead, a Seven Wonders novel by T.L. Hiley. Um, I got this book when I was really, really, really into Egyptian mythology when I was like in seventh or eighth grade. And the King Chronicles were had either just come out, the first one had either just come out or was just about to come out. And I was really into it then and I was like, I'm so going to read this, I'm so going to read this. And then I instead read the King Chronicles or something, and I never read this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's... I don't remember what this is about because it doesn't have a blurb on the back, but there was, like, a synopsis next to it. And it sounded really interesting. I don't remember what it was. Um, but I remember it sounding really interesting. And I have a feeling that I would like it if I actually read it. I just don't have any motivation to read it right now. But I... I honestly may read it. I mean, you never know. And then the last one I have is The Call of the Wild and White Fang by Jack London. I got this book when I was 10, as you can tell by the ruined ribbon. Um, and I got this book before I ever really started reading. Like, this was when I wanted to start reading, but I really wasn't into reading. I got this before I got these. And um, these were, like, the ma first, like, book that I'd ever read besides like the Magic Treehouse series but those aren't really I don't really count those but anyway so I 
got the this and I was going to read it on the plane to DC the first time we went and I read like four pages and I have since to even attempt <laughs> to read this. I have no interest in the story whatsoever. I liked the movies, that's why I wanted to get this. Um, but I have no interest at all to read this mo this book, like, whatsoever, and the only reason I'm keeping it is because it's the first book that I personally owned, like, first real book that I ever owned, so that's, like, the only reason I won't get rid of it. Okay, question eight. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. That's an awful song. <laughs> Name a character death you're still mad about. I'm not going to answer this because spoilers and... I don't want to spoil anybody. I could probably do this without, like, giving out a lot of, like, any spoiler. But just to be safe, I'm not going to. And it says to warn for spoilers, but, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm still not going to do it. Nine. The malls are overly crowded with holiday shoppers. Name a series that has too many books in it or it went on too long. I got this one. <clears throat> the Cooper Kids, um... What's it called? Cooper Kids Adventures series. Um, the first three were really good. These were the, probably the best. Um, the fourth one was okay. The fifth one was pretty boring. I didn't finish it. And then I still haven't read these three. And I probably never will. I read these when I was a kid. Um, like, right after I got this and didn't read it. Like, right before or during these. I don't remember for sure. But... These were like the first real books, that, like some of the first real books that I ever read. And I really liked the first three, and I think he could have just stopped at the first three, but after that they got kind of boring, and I didn't enjoy them too, too much. So, yeah. But I really liked the first three. I could probably reread those. And then the last question, The Grinch. Name a main character you hate. No villains, again. I'm going to be nice and not say the one that I really want to say, but I'm going to say Ren from Tiger's Curse, who is the main love interest. He's okay in this book. He's really okay. He's... I wouldn't date him. <laughs> He's a little obsessive and a little lovey-dovey and a little bit annoying. <laughs> but... In the end of the second book, it's like a complete personality and character swap. Like, he's not the same person that he was in this one, and he's a jerk in the sec like it, by the end of the second one. He's a total jerk, and I don't like him at all. And I'm still going to keep reading these because I'm hoping that he goes back to being like how he was in here because he was a good guy. Overall, he's a good guy. He's really sweet. I'm hoping that he goes back to the way he was in this one. <laughs> but by the end of that second one, hmm. I was one of, that's one of the reasons that I want to keep reading it is because I want to know why he's like that. But yes, so for the Grinch, I have Rin. Now, that was the Grinch book tag. And it wasn't the greatest book tag I've ever done, probably. But I really enjoyed this book tag. I thought it was really funny. Um, when I was watching other people doing it. <laughs> so, that is my tag. I will see you all in, like, two minutes right after I, you know, end this video, because I'm going to do another video right after. But this one is over, and I'm not reading a book at the moment, so I can't hold one up. But I will see you all later.